as some of you know, I've been using ORC framework. Wasn't getting very far with that very fast. It was difficult to test all the time, and there were so many things to set up before you could even try to test something. So then I switched over to um, Plygame much farther, much faster. And what, like five weeks, I had a couple of spells, I had a couple of attacks, I had some creatures running around, even had a quest working. Great. So, I got a hold of uh, RPG AIO. And I've been playing with it for about an hour, just setting it up. So I got myself a player, got myself an enemy, got myself a couple of swords, and what else do we got? And we have a loot table that'll give one of these things 10% chance, 10% chance, 10% chance. You got a 40% chance of getting some gold and a 30% chance of getting nothing. So that's just the basic rundown of it. So anyway, if we hit play. Now this is only an hour. New game. Your character comes up. Type in a name. Now if you create another character, there'd be another option. And all these screens, of course, you can change. But I only, like I said, I've only been playing with it a short time. Got turn that off and on with G. Got your quest log, your ability logs. Crafting is already built in. Your inventory slots, gold. You have a character sheet, and I've got a sword. Although you can't see it on her, and she's not in combat mode, which I haven't quite gotten around to figuring out yet. So. I don't have an NPC to use right now, so what we'll do is we just I just use this capsule here. I already got the quest. Hello, go away. Bye. I need a job. Already puts it on the quest tracker and everything, and you can see it updates. I'm working on it. We'll get back to work. supposed to be wandering over there but now he's running to me he looks kind of goofy because his speed doesn't change so even though he's in run mode and he dropped some gold for me so I click it pick it up and of course his detect radius is insane oh there's another one I'm actually swinging with the sword, even though there isn't one in showing in my hand. Oh, there's another one. And you notice the tracker's updating. And of course, I'm taking damage. So now we can go turn it in. Where do I get out of here? Ah, there it is. Even though I gained levels, none of these went up, but I'm sure all that can be set in the settings. I haven't had a chance to go through everything. The only downfall I see to this is I don't think that he allows um, mechanism animations. Because these are all legacy right now, even though they don't look too bad. Then you get your money. Got another level. This is actually an item. I just don't have a picture for it. And you can see we got some gold. So, and it updated that too. I already did that. Whatever, go away. So, I'd say all in all, not bad for an hour. Uh, I see it screwed up a little mana bar thing there. Um, but there are a lot of settings. But this was fairly quick to actually get into. A playable game. Um, 
So I'd say in the space of a few days, you could probably have yourself a complete level here. Throw a few more enemies, a couple more quest guys, and you'd be set. So, anyway, RPG AIO.